Again, it's Utran. Hello, how are you doing? And I have a new to me ColourPop uh, palette that I'm trying out today, so I thought I'd go ahead and give it or do a video on it. And to go ahead and start off with what I have on my face, I have the Pretty Fresh, uh, Pretty Fresh tint from ColourPop. And I have it in 8N and 4N. I mix them together to go ahead and get my shade. And uh, I got everything at a sale. And so I'm going ahead and making sure I get to use up everything. Um, I did also use the ColourPop pencil or eyebrow pencil. And this one actually came in the set, which had the um, brow pencil and the brow gel. And I have both on today. And mine's in taupe. And these are cute. Um, their uh, ColourPop has them on their website, and then they're also over at Target. If you're looking for Target, or you're looking for ColourPop, ColourPop over at Target, uh, definitely go ahead and look in the, um, let's see, the drugstore uh, area, because they're not going to be in the Ulta area, which is kind of confusing, because ColourPop is at Ulta, but... If you go to Target, look in the drugstore area, and that's where you'll find them. And then um, as far as my bronzer, I have Skinny Dip on, and this is from Jacqueline. And then I also uh, put on some of the highlighter. Um, I got one of the loose highlighters from Jacqueline as well. And I also put on the ColourPop highlighter. This one is an Addicted to You. And let's see here. And get this open. These you just have to go around the back and pop them. And there you go. So that's the highlighter addicted to you. And like I said, you just put your thumb in the back part and take it around the corner and you can pop it open. Oh, I also put a little bit of the cheek dew on. This is in hot fuss. And so I have this on as well. Um, <clears throat> Let me see, as far as um, lips, I don't have anything on right now. It's ColourPop lip oil that I'm going to go ahead and put on. Okay. So, as far as what I have on right now, uh, this is going to be the new Star Wars palette. And um, I missed the first release, but look at that packaging. That's the original. Oh, isn't that amazing? So anyway, I thought I'd just go ahead and show you the packaging on there. <laughs> and um, this is the palette that I have on right now. It's the Star Wars palette from ColourPop. And again, they have, yeah, the original. And you can tell this is, I know this is from one of the original posters. So anyway, I thought that that was pretty cool. I have this color um, right under the brow and right on the inner corner. I went ahead and used this one as my base today. I put the silver over and um, it actually ended up on the inner corner. And then I went ahead and put this blue on the outer corner and it actually blended out to be a much lighter blue. So all of the all of the shades in here are a little bit creamier than the regular ColourPop formula. At least that's what I found so far. So uh, I went ahead and used uh, the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer as my base for my eyeshadow. I'm going to do two looks today. And the next look that I'm doing, I'm just going to leave the uh, eye bare and not do a concealer base on it because these are so creamy. And I actually like being able to blend kind of in a more, you know, in a, with a creamier shadow. Um, but concealer or um, a primer that gives you really creamy base, I don't think will be the best for these. I'm going to try it with a dry eye. If you have an um, eye primer that has a real tacky, tacky kind of base to it, that might work really well too. But uh, what I'll go ahead and do right now is go ahead and do another look and I'll be right back. Or oh, actually, let me show you how this one turned out. So that's how this look turned out. So I'll be back in a moment with a different look and um, 
See you then. Okay, so it's Adrian, and I'm back again. Um, again, I have another uh, look from the Star or the Star Wars palette on, and um, as far as the way that the look turned out, kind of turned out sort of like this. So what I did with this particular look was I went ahead and used this again on the inner corner and right under the brow. Went ahead and used this shade, which is definitely a creamy special shade, and it comes out as basically a red pink. Um, on the lid, I went ahead and put this over um, the gold on top of it, and actually for my base, I went ahead and used this. So um, as far as the way that the eye look, again, it came out kind of like that. And I did use a gel eyeliner from ColourPop as well to go ahead and uh, line under the eyes. These are going to be the swatches of this palette. It's very, very pretty. And really, in my thinking, pretty unique. I mean, it's, uh, there are actually two special shades, if you want to call them. I don't know what else to call them. So. Uh, this one comes out as a blue-gray, and this one comes out pink, and um, they're both cream shadows, and then they definitely have the cream formula on at least uh, two of these, um, the silver and the gold down here. So again, really unique, pretty um, palette, and with this burgundy active in here, I think that you could probably get a lot of really fun looks. So. They really went for the versatile in this palette, and I think they pretty much achieved it. So, um, again, uh, I recommend this to you if you have a makeup lover who loves uh, sci-fi. Definitely, this would be a collector's kind of item. And yes, I intend to use it and not just uh, put it in a box and put it away, even though I do have a makeup palette collection. Um, I do use my palettes, um, but this one definitely is fun to play with. It's different, it's unique, it's not the same as the different, um, as some of the other ColourPop palettes, and uh, it's actually, I would say, it's a really good holiday palette just because it has so many shimmers and fun toppers. Uh, these two the silver and the gold here can definitely be toppers. And so I think that it's just a fun palette. And uh, definitely I'm glad that I went ahead and picked it up. And I think that's about all I have for today. So uh, thank you and have a great day, okay?